If you're a longtime listener of Mastering Midlife, you know I love to use metaphor when describing midlife. Uh, this morning was no exception. I was doing a workshop for a group of men over Zoom. So if you're listening in April 2020, you know that it's the time of the coronavirus pandemic because we're still living it. Uh, but if this is sometime in the future, which is now the present, uh, you remember the coronavirus pandemic. So this group of men were uh, looking for some help in how to deal with business life in the time of stress and looking for resiliency uh, you know, co and coping mechanisms. Uh, so I was able to do that this morning in this workshop. And we were talking about the metaphors and I, I, you know, I, I used my, my old tried and true uh, midlife is like alcoholism. You only, you only change and shift and grow uh, when you hit rock bottom, when you surrender. But there's another metaphor that was really, I found really useful. And that is that, uh, you know, when I say that the drives and the motivations that powered us through our 20s and 30s start to change and start to wane in our 40s and 50s, it reminds me of the roadrunner. Uh, and again, if you're in midlife, you remember the road run, road runner and Wiley Coyote. And I said to them, you know, the things that you're you've been going after, the money, the success, the power, uh, the trophy wife, the trophy husband, uh, you know, the the, the right kind of home, uh, whatever it is that's in your life that you, that's driven you, and you've been trying to uh, attain because that's what you thought was the thing to do is your roadrunner. And you have exhausted everything to chase that. Now, sometimes it looks like money and success and then whatever that, whatever's underneath it is the roadrunner. But it's that driving force in your life. It could also be a, a, a scary negative thing. So for me, one of the roadrunners in my life has been dealing with how I think, how I feel, and the effects of being molested as a kid are on me. And my whole life has been about mitigating the effects of that. Right. So so that's my road runner. Uh, and then uh, what you do is you 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 go to Acme. If you remember the company, the Acme company in road runner, that's basically Amazon now where you can be in the middle of the desert and call up and uh, get an anvil, uh, get a truck, get the paint to uh, draw to draw and paint a, a tunnel uh, so that the road runner runs into the wall. Um, but, uh, you know, so the question is, what is what has been your roadrunner? Like, what has been driving you? What have you been chasing? Unconsciously, just maniacally chasing your entire life. And, you know, once you figure out that you've been chasing this thing, the question is, do you want it? Is that what you wanted? Uh, do you, is it something you still want? Uh, is it really a roadrunner? <laughs> you know, all those questions, once you start to think about this. Now, the next thing is, you've been told all your life you're a coyote. You know, you think of yourself as wily coyote, and you think you're a coyote. And you don't never question to say, am I a coyote? Is this how I want to spend my life? Maybe I'm something else, right? Maybe I'm not even a coyote, and the roadrunner I'm chasing, and this whole game that I'm playing right now is a complete illusion. And that's what I love about midlife. Midlife is taking stock and deciding, do I really want to chase this roadrunner? Do I want to use all these resources and spend all my money with Acme Company to get this done? And, and your resources are your time, your energy, your attention, your relationships. You know, your, all of that stuff are your resources. And am I a coyote? Is this really me? Am I living the life that I want to live? And that's a great thing to take stock in midlife. Uh, if, if you're listening to this and you're still in the middle of the pandemic and you're stuck at home, it's a great time to take stock, get a pen and paper and really question, you know, what is it about my life that I love? What is it about my life that I don't like, right? What changes can I make? What can I improve? I'm not, you know, I'm not saying go get divorced. I'm saying, do you want to put some effort into your marriage to shift it? Uh, I'm not saying quit your job because right now jobs are precious. I'm saying, what steps do you want to take towards shifting uh, towards what you want to what's more important rather than just mindlessly chasing some roadrunner thinking you're a, a, a coyote. So that's my thoughts for today. Uh, can't wait to flesh this out as a chapter in the book because I think it's a fascinating way of thinking of things. If I'm only entertaining myself, that cracks me up. But I know you people listen and I appreciate you 
so much uh, every, every time I see a click, every time I see a listen, every time I see a comment or I get an email that tells me that this was useful, it just fills my heart with joy. So please be safe, take care of yourself, be introspective. I love you. Have a great rest of the day.